iPhone 6 leaked photos show us its future housing. The HTC One M8 seems to be off to a positive start in sales, and Samsung may look to Google in its trial against Apple. I'm Jaime Rivera, and hey, if it, the price is right, I don't mind. I would definitely serve as a witness, right? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news that are quite good, actually. We were expecting for the HTC One M8 to make some significant growth in its initial sales, and so far the news have been positive. Uh, Taiwan is reporting the phone has a substantial demand, but sadly we don't get specific numbers just yet. We're going to have to wait for the core results. Hopefully this will mean a better wind for HTC after so many disappointments in sales last year. But aside from that, for those of you that were concerned about the HTC One M8, you know, massaging benchmarks, well, as it turns out, the phone does include a setting for you to turn that off, which they included and made available to those people that want power hungry games. So interesting, let's see the description for full details on that. Now let's talk about Apple as the company has just sent out an email to all developers, making it clear that as of tomorrow, we will be seeing some price differences in international app stores. And the reason why is because obviously there is an exchange rate. It's quite fluctuating in certain countries. And uh, we have a full list of the countries that are being affected in the links of the description. But so far, it makes you wonder exactly how Apple is going to make that, you know, keep that. Uh, happening as exchange rates continue fluctuating. It's going to continue happening, so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about the Apple versus Samsung trial. There are some very interesting news as it turns out that Samsung is planning to ask Google to be part of the trial. As a witness, apparently Samsung is going to ask Andy Rubin himself, one of the creators of Android, to come over and tell the story of Android, how it was born and how it does not copy Apple's iOS even though iOS was first or looked the way it does first and then Android swapped everything and looked more like it. But anyways, you be the judge of that in the comments down below. This is gonna be very interesting as once there's a court order, uh, Google is going to have to attend. Let's see. Let's talk about Microsoft and its Windows Phone 8.1 as we've got two very interesting rumors. First of all, it seems that the company is considering adding an extra row of live tiles to their Windows Phone 8.1 operating system, which is great, you know, for any device that has a display above 4.5 inches. Great. But even more interesting is that apparently the company is also considering allowing you to run applications from your micro SD card, uh, which you could do so many years ago in Windows Mobile, but you will need a micro SD card that's above class 6. So let's see how that goes. And finally, for the very, very interesting news of the day, we get the first leaked photo of the iPhone 6. We don't know if this is going to be the 4.7 inch variant or not, but it sure looks like it. It looks like a bigger iPhone in every way, but it looks a lot like an iPhone. Uh, it's just really interesting to see that there is really not much change in design here, except for the fact that it's a bigger phone. But even though I could say that this could be a 3D printout, this photo did come from Foxconn. And since Apple's become terrible at keeping secrets, we could just say that this is the real deal. But aside from that, you know, this designer made a mock-up of the recent schematics that were leaked for the iPhone 6 in its phablet variant. And this is very interesting as the phone looks really, really hot. And we have a glass back, so could we expect that Sapphire will make that glass back? That leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about the leaked photos and the renders that we just have of the iPhone 6 in both models? Uh, leave us a comment down below. In my case, uh, if that tablet were real, it is really hot. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on fuckingout.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.